Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well uh, Virgo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading October 18th up until October uh, 24th, 2021. And uh, if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take uh, my, my tarot classes, Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. Um, or if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just uh, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well our uh, live streams. So with that being set aside, moving straight away to the uh, Virgo reading of the weekend, the very first card you Virgo have, uh, that will be the death card. Can you see the card? All right. So the death card, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Knights of Wands, followed by uh, the Six of Pentacles. Moving next, we have uh, the Hierophant. And uh, the last card for you, Virgo, that is going to be the Page of Wands. So we do have two individuals here for you that are going to take place into this week. The first individual is going to be um, somebody that comes about as you are in the midst of, of um, kind of like restructuring your thing, restructure, restructuring your life, so to speak, because we do have the Death card at the start. And uh, it will be just um, a welcomed addition, so to speak, into what you are going through. Because these people are very enterprising, we are to see more closely what exactly that Knights of Wands is going to be for you. But the thing is that their appearance is going to set your life more or less on tracks, or is going to make it more balance more ordinary probably is the word that i am uh, that i am searching for and uh, from there are uh, the relationship in between you and this person whether it is a business relationship friendship relationship maybe as well an intimate relationship is gonna grow stronger is gonna grow into more respect into more reliability into more trust that you're gonna start giving into one another and then another one shows up at the end of the week and what their play is going to be for you that's we are going to see when i draw the additional card once more but they are usually harbingers of of good news and as well they do offer something new we will see what that is going to be when we get there but uh at the start of the week here we do have the death card and uh couple of things the death card signifies couple of things what it signifies it is that one thing is ending uh, a project may be ending uh, a friendship may be ending a love may be ending you know job may be ending something is about to end that is because uh, things are in flux and something simply needs to go so it can be replaced with a refreshing nourishing and uh, growth for something else something new and that what it's ending it simply served its purpose it grow it grew it reached its its peak it was dying and now it's it's completely over it's uh, it's pretty much dead and uh, you can't expect anything more out of it and so it needs to be replaced with something new that can grow even further and that it is exactly what takes place at the start of your week so if at the start of the week you happen to and i'm sorry about my uh, radical and drastic examples but if at the, at the start of the week you happen to lose a friend because that friend doesn't have anything to do with you you know this isn't gonna be a forceful loss okay like somebody have an accident or anything like that this is gonna be a natural loss like just your path your paths are simply you know drifting apart they are um diversing from one another if you happen to lose your job if you happen to lose your love you know or if you happen to lose even um i don't know 
uh, your home because you don't want to be in it anymore or because that home you, you don't you, you cannot support it or anything like that you shouldn't uh, grieve for it because uh, whatever you are to lose at the start of the week uh, it will be replaced with something that will happen to have a bigger potential for you now the death card could be also related to habits could be also related to uh to routine so you may happen to lose some kind of a habit that you are to change with something else like for example pubbing and um uh smoking you know having unhealthy foods being replaced with uh workouts and uh, having more healthy so to speak although nobody can say what truly is healthy um, <clears throat> uh, routine okay so something is to change that it will be replaced once again with uh, with the thing that will have more benign effects upon your life and with this change this person shows up which is the knight of wands uh, which is accompanied with uh, the four of uh, swords. So uh, their appearance is going to first have a cancelling effect on your life or counseling, console, counseling effect. So they are gonna. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that they're gonna happen to be a very faithful companion of yours that you can talk about with anything, okay, or about anything, and uh, together you both are going to contemplate over the loss and over the gain and uh, the more you talk about it the more you are to see that even if you had a painful loss like you lost your relationship so to speak or your job that ultimately uh was uh, for the better of you it, it simply it was for your own good and um these people they are like i said very enterprising individuals individuals that are completely driven by their interest so for one or another reason either what you do or either you itself or you yourself i'm sorry happen to be their interest as well and uh, they are determined that wherever their interest sits they are determined to get to the very very end and um, also when once they appear into your life uh, they will happen to be as well are a banishers of some of your concerns some of your worries while they are around problems that were um seething in your environment they will no longer gonna have a merit into it and uh, right after that we do have the six of pentacles and uh, this card it has a very short incorporation into your reading it plays out as such that together in between you uh together with the knight of wands you simply are gonna get on track with uh with the majority of the undertakings and the majority of the um how can i say um of the aspects into your life that you couldn't handle beforehand so the the the, the knight of wounds it's exerting stability into um pretty much into your life if you can observe the card the knight of wounds happens to have what you need here it is displayed by you know the beggar needing some change to feed themselves for example or to uh to have for uh for a place to stay overnight and so on and so forth and so it literally shows that they get what they need for the time being at least and that is uh, the resource that the knight of wands this individual which might which by the way might may be somebody uh, brand new or is somebody that you already know but that's besides the point uh, together you pretty much gonna uh, accomplish balance um, into your environment balance into your career life and balance into your uh, romantic life as well however here we do have uh, something very important it is that yes they will offer you help i mean the or you will get a, a help through the manifestation of the knight of wands but this help while it's solving the problems that you have for now that is not going to go forever not because you're going to lose the knight of wands or anything but because at some point you will have to face your problems by yourself and so yeah while the um the help 
is solving your problems for now that solution is not really a solution a resolution that solution it's more like postponing the real resolution so you can use that time to prepare better to learn better so you can do better when you have to face them on your own and um, right after that the hierophant plays out and this card shows only the growing mutual the, the growing trust and reliability that you will have or that you will start going to obtain into the knights of wands they're going to start obtaining for you as well and um with the hierophant is very likely that somewhat of a uh, you can't even classify it as a romans that is um, i would try to explain it that that way the uh, a feeling or realization is gonna grow that you know you are doing very good together that you it's not like even that you can view views of one another but you are rather compatible it, it, it's like you know you can go for a very long way and uh, also the understanding is going to be that while at that point you may not love each other if you do allow yourself to rely on one another and if you are honest with each other if you happen to be a benevolent support for one another uh, the love is going to come on its own uh, um, in the future and so yeah i mean even if you don't have that tenderest feeling at the start you may decide that you should give each other a chance and i'm saying here you may decide not all of you are going to but some of you may decide that you should give yourself a chance to develop that thing because uh, the Hierophant speaks about the real love and there is a difference in between the true and the Leo and the real love. The true love, it's more like a love of the first sight, you know, when you fall in love with somebody and you just can't explain why you do love that person. While the real love, it doesn't show right away. The real love shows up much late, much on a much later stages when you already know that you can trust the man or the woman that you can rely on them as well because they have pretty much proven that they are trustworthy and that they that, that they will not gonna let you down no matter what and uh, at the end of the uh the week here this individual shows up which is the page of wands you most likely doesn't know this one um by that point Ooh, and there are uh, the catalyst here is the ten of swords so yeah i mean they are going to present you with something new they are going to present you with an ultimatum i don't know what that ultimatum is going to be about but it's going to go like that um you either take it or you leave it and you have to decide right now okay you just have to decide right now and the decision has to be a final uh, most likely this ultimatum is going to come about with a very good news coming your way but the decision that you will have to make it will be a decision of a sacrifice okay for example you have to sacrifice um your career for your love life for example you have to sacrifice one person over another for example you have to sacrifice the place where you live so you can go elsewhere to work some kind of a sacrifice is going to be involved into this uh, into this decision that you will have to make whichever your choice is okay uh, you need to know that once again it's final the best way to make that decision is by drawing a line and making a retrospective what you have saw thus far from the path that you are walking and what this new proposition is going to bring to you you have to make a, a comparison in between these two and i mean a an honest comparison and uh, your decision should be definitive what i mean is that it should be made in a way that you do not regret it moving forward into the future with with no doubts you will have to make your choice uh and here the advice it is that you are far stronger than you think you are so you should not base your choice of um the reliance of somebody else not that you don't have to but you should not because even if you happen to be alone you can manage it whatever that is about
So with that being said, uh, Virgo, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, for October 18th up until October 24th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.